Blog Talk Radio. This is the girl, George, and the Dragons Radio Show coming to you from sunny, windy <laughs> Berkeley, California. Today we have an old friend of mine from North Beach in San Francisco. I used to be at the topless clubs there. I used to be at the peppermint tree, and Larry was one of the major players at the committee, which was a couple doors down. And they come over and see my show, and I come over and see their show. And so here yeah. we go. Larry Hankin, how are you, baby? Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, he sounds fine, too. Yeah, they were the good old days. <laughs> uh, always. <laughs> You know, uh, sure, I, you know, the committee was a, a great place to be. I guess North Beach at that time was, like, you know, pretty oh, yeah, cool North place Beach to be. Was, North Beach was a great place to be back in, it was like 66 I came down. I think you came before that. What time, when did you start at the committee? Um, I was just drafted uh, uh, along with a bunch of other people. I didn't know where they were going. I just thought they seemed interesting, so I followed along. Uh, I guess in, the, in 1960, I followed them out there. Uh, kind from of where? Me out. From New York. I'm, I'm from New York. I'm from Long Island. You know. uh, I was just a okay. uh, kind of a, uh, a stand-up comedian bum, you know. <laughs> just, <laughs> well, you know, just give me a stage. You know how musicians quick. and artists are. We'll you know. always be bums and Vagabonds. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, they offered me a job and said, and the plane ticket, and said, "Hey, come on, come on out there. We're doing this thing." And it was a, a paycheck, so I just went out there, and it turned out to be the committee. So that was cool. That was, uh, and then you know, San Francisco happened. <laughs> oh yeah, that Man. was before the the hate ice period, the hippies, and all that stuff. I got there before that too. It was, I was playing up at a uh, coffee gallery, and it was like folk music. Yeah. And it just turned from being jazz and beatniks to being folk music, and they still had the poetry there. So the last end of the hippies were still there, but you know, it just turned over to the folk scene. That's when I started playing there. Um, so uh, yeah. the ones I remember most at the committee are you and Howard Hessman and Chris Ross, and Bruce Mackey, and Gary Gurley. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones I knew best. Um, yeah, me too. I mean, you know, they were the, we were, you know, this gang, this gang of uh, <laughs> funny people. Uh, but, yeah, uh, yeah we're, there, we're all over the map now. I, I see some of the people every once in a while because most of them move down here, you know. Well, if they didn't, you know, do too many drugs or just died. But, you know, <laughs> every once in a while, I see somebody. But it's different. Well, I remember you did in, in, in L.A. You were you were making some kind of movie there at Easy TV or something. And I ran into oh, wow. you there oh, back God. in the 80s, I think it was. Right, yeah. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm still doing. Actually, that's. Yeah, um, Easy TV. Yeah, uh, I, as a matter of fact, I was speaking to somebody yesterday who wants to, uh, he has this uh, nostalgia network, kind of, for, for the 80s, actually. He's talking about the 80s. And uh, so <laughs> they, they'll, those things that that we made at Easy TV may yet get actually on <laughs> on the Internet. I don't know. So oh, there, cool. They used one of my songs on, on one of the stupid movies there. I don't know what the movie was, but they used well, one of my honest, songs there. Well, then, you know, we'll see. But they're uh, looking for them. They haven't been found yet. But that, that's they what's going on. put it up on YouTube. Today. Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I mean, everything else is up on YouTube and stuff like that. But it's just interesting that. You mentioned it. And so you've been a character actor in many, 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 many movies and TV shows. I know you were in Escape from Alcatraz and The Jerk. What else were you in? Oh, wow. Well, a, a lot. But 
but my heart was always in making those little things at Easy TV. I mean, sincerely, that's what I'm doing now. I, uh, five, uh, about five years ago, uh, in 2010, I decided to go to film school. So that's really what I've been doing since the last four or five years. So that that was cool, and it was it's what turned me on to actually making funny films. Even you know for the internet or for the theater or whatever, but making funny films is interesting to me. Like somebody would like to play the guitar, you know. I go, hey, wait a minute, this is kind of cool. You can edit it at home, you know, and still actually make something that's pretty cool. So that's. Well, that's I've seen stuff my, uh, on, on YouTube you know. that you you have where you have something for every different holidays, you know, for Mother's Day, for birthdays, for whatever. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> See, like, somebody's actually interested in that. I, I just make them and turn them out. I don't see where they go, you know. I just like making them. It's it's getting this idea and then, you know, just go out and film it. And, you know, well, that's what artists hey, that's do. They make enough. artists. They don't sell it. That's for somebody else to fucking do. Uh, you know? Yeah, but it would be Just cool. Just make the stuff. Point, you know, uh, somebody, if somebody wants to wants me to make more of it, that's that's cool, too. But for right now, it's somehow that's, uh, like I said, I've been going to film school and funny film school and writing. That's what I do now is write and make these little films. Uh, that seems really interesting to me. So, you know... So you write and you produce and you direct and you act in them too? Well, I'm I'm learning to do all of it. Sometimes I just direct. Sometimes I let somebody else direct. And, uh, you know, I just mix it up. Just learn. It's like a learning process. And you're doing it at the same time. So it's it's not that simple. But... Uh, well, I'm the committee the gave you good practice with that because everyone worked together and bounced off each other and, and made it up as you went along, so that should help. Um, yeah, but there wasn't the mechanics of, you know, all of a sudden now cameras, you can shoot with no light at all. It's amazing what, you know, DSL and wow. that stuff. So you have to learn that. But now, yeah, you can do that. In the committee, we didn't have to worry about the lighting. We got up and, you know, <laughs> waved the chicken or... <laughs> you know. Yeah, but you uh, learn how uh, and, to and to funny. ad lib. You learn how to ad lib and go with the flow with whatever comes out because things always. Yeah, well, out. right now <laughs> they have cameras that can pick that up. Before you had to like plan it out, you know. Oh, where are you gonna? Oh, uh-huh. you're in the shadow. No, the camera can Now, it's amazing. So that's why I've been going to school, you know. But uh, so it's but it's fun, and it's getting back to that group effort once everybody knows oh we can do that now that's cool so so all that's all those things like escape from alcatraz and stuff was like kind of background for what i'm doing now because i learned to act you know that was uh you were also just, in a lot of tv shows weren't you in breaking bad and, and seinfeld and a bunch of those yeah but i was i mean i was with uh, like you know Brian Cranston, <laughs> the, he he's a great actor. So I'm like I'm there learning. I'm I'm not thinking I'm on Breaking Bad. I'm going wow, I can absorb this. That's what that was going through my mind. Was, what an opportunity, you know? Yeah. These people are serious. Uh, so now <laughs> I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, you know, I can do that. Let's let's see, but getting the mechanics together, that's the the tricky part. There's a craft to it. You know. So that's Okay, you know, what's the name of your, your 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 latest project? What's the name of the movie? Well, uh, the Outlaw Emmett Demas is one and uh, yeah, the Outlaw Emmett, Emmett Demas. I have this clown that I'm working on. That's that's my senior project. <laughs> Uh, is, um, uh, you know, he's like Don Quixote, like, I don't know, he's just, this guy, uh, he's on a motor, it's Don Quixote on a motorcycle, basically. So I've done like three or four films. They're, they're on YouTube, you know. But I'm trying to figure out, you know, maybe you could get a series out of it, something like that. That would be interesting, you know. But still it would be Emmett, Emmett Demas. Um, and then How I, long I was, are each I, one? How long is each movie? About eight minutes, nine minutes, you know. Oh, it's but, not a uh, it's I'm, I'm, not a two hour movie, huh? 
Well, no, I just, I'm, what I'm doing now is I talk to you. I mean, I, I'm in the middle of writing something uh, uh, and right before we got on the phone. Uh, no, I'm, I'm writing it into uh, um, maybe a two hour, or three hour series for like a network. But it's it's oh, this cool. clown. So the the three movies I've made were actually experiments in in looking at the character and seeing how he looked from the page to the screen. That's you know that's like a, there's a, I guess it's like a recording studio. There's a there's a craft to going into the recording studio. You know, yeah, and just but you have to learn that. somewhere along the way. <laughs> um, yeah, but so you put it together, it comes out, and you go, wow, man, it's, just, it's funny. Almost like I, I, I showed it up in Seattle last week at a film festival, and an hour we did of it. Um, just And it was pretty funny. It went over very well. So, I, you know, I've been, like, experimenting with, with it. So that's where my head is at, you know. Right now. Where are you at now? Are you in in L.A. or San Francisco area? Yeah, but I'm I'm I've been kind of in a cocoon down by the by the beach here. I, I live uh, near near the beach, here, Venice Beach. Well, you know, Venice, which is kind of Venice? quiet, you know. Yeah, Venice. Oh, cool. And um, so yeah, so it's I don't pay attention to. I've just been working because you can, like I say, edit at home. So I just edited this half hour thing with, uh, you know, my computer, you know, my laptop. Uh, took yeah, me a while, I, but... I edit all the time. I know all about editing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's that's amazing. That's another, you know, another tool. But, I, you know, I had to pick it, uh, pick it up. But it's interesting what you can do and what, when I was growing up, what movies were. This big, mysterious, huge machine that you went to, you know, a theater to see. And I'm going, holy cow, I can do this on my computer. What the heck? It's amazing. You know, sound effects, everything. Yeah, you can put it up on YouTube and everybody in the whole world can see it. It's so, um, oh, it's like magic. Yeah. It's, they, uh, they, they've taken the business thing. out of it and made it where anybody could do it if you just get in there and learn how to do it. Yeah, or you're... Or you're or, or you have the interest in doing it. I mean, I've talked to people who care less, you know, about yeah, my passion yeah. for making these funny little films. But, but you know, there's something to it. I, I consider it um, a nice tool, you know, very, very cool. Whereas the committee, you would have to have the theater and, you know, it would only be as many people as you could get in. Now you can go around the world. It's amazing. So that's... <laughs> Unique. Yeah. The world has Something changed a whole been. lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, but, but we're I in the future been, now. Just like in the Jetsons, you know, like, like we, um, they, they said it was yeah, going to happen. I mean, they got these little phones on their wrist and shit, just like Dick Tracy now. Uh, yeah. It's a, uh, yeah, exactly. I'm like a GoPro. I mean, yeah. But it's not it's, just a phone, uh, but it's I'm a just computer. It. It, it can monitor your heart. It can unlock your house. It can turn on your turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, I, so I, but I, that's a whole other learning curve, you know. So it's, uh, but it's interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah. Well, it's nice that we live long enough to see all this change. Boy, we see a lot of change in our lifetime. Um, yeah, and it's uh, going faster and faster. It's like, you know, um, like a computer chip. I, I think it's like it doubles every year or something, you know, the amount of information they can get on it. Y- yeah. Um, it's... Uh, Right now, I'm awed. I, I haven't, uh, I don't have a grasp on it. You know, it's 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 very it, it's. Uh, I guess it's like the electric light. When somebody said, "No, you just turn the switch," you go, "What?" I mean, that's basically what you know. I have coming at me this. Holy cow! You can have uh, my little movies. And then you can have uh, a lot of downers out there doing the same thing. Uh, amazing tool. 
Well, my grandkids have been playing with computers since they were like a year old. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah, it's like uh, a modern guitar or something like that. I mean, you can, but boy, is it powerful. You know. So where are you from originally? Let's else. talk about or where you came from, where you went to school, what your mom and daddy did. What, what about that? Oh, uh, I went to Far Rockaway High. Uh, was on the swimming team and the rifle team. That was pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, and uh, but you know, in the school plays. I always wanted to get up on the, on the stage. I mean, that was really what it's all about. And uh, I seem to be able to make my mom laugh. So okay, that sounds pretty cool. So just follow <laughs> that. Uh, and, uh, high school plays. And then a friend of mine, actually Carl Gottlieb, who wrote Jaws, that guy, um, hired me to go to, uh, summer stock and that, that was it. I was in show business. So it was like, so what did your father do for a living? What did your father do for a living? Oh, what did he do? He was an accountant. Didn't didn't take show business led anywhere. Didn't approve. That was like a, not a <laughs> cool thing. Uh, really was adamant about it. Would take doorknobs off of doors to catch me and my sister when we snuck out. <laughs> Couldn't get back in the house. <laughs> the doorknobs were gone. I mean, he was pretty crazy. Uh, well, that you know, usually but, makes the hey, best yeah. artist is when the parents are real, real straight, and you have to really fight for it. <laughs> I, I guess, in a way, it's sad to say, but I think that you're right, you know? <laughs> um, weird. Uh, but that, so you that ended up going to, to New York from, from Long Island? Well, then me and Carl, again, uh, Carl Gowdy, the guy who wrote Josh, he... After Summerstock, he moved to Greenwich Village, and he said, hey, you know, let's be roommates. So I said, okay, cool. You know, I had nothing to do. I didn't want to go to, I didn't want to go to business. I didn't know what I was going to do. I graduated as an industrial designer, but I didn't want to do that. It was just something to take. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And uh, so I just, and Carl got into movies, and then I just, oh, we were in Greenwich Village, so I got up on a stage and started to make people laugh, and I started to get paid for it. And then um, uh, Second City, I, I joined Second City in Chicago, and then the committee came out of that, and then we went down to Hollywood. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Um, just keep I was on like moving. A bum. <laughs> Yeah, in other words, I was just a bum. I had nothing in mind. It was just, oh, this is okay. They want to go here. Okay, I'll go there. Oh, okay. You know, but now I actually really would like to do films. That That's, I mean, kind of an obsession, actually, which is cool. You, you finally know. found your calling after all these years. How old are you? Now? Yeah, you know, I mean, you know. I, I, but How old are you, Larry? Well, well, older than uh, actually... I can't, I won't say. I, I don't want to say. I don't want it out there. It's crazy. Oh, okay. You don't have to say. See, I'm 70. Yeah. And I'm proud of it. I mean, I couldn't have done all the things that I've, I've done if I wasn't as old as I was. I wouldn't have been there. <laughs> well, well, just so many images of it, I just kind of gave up. I, You know, uh, um, I probably should be crotchety, you know, but I, that, that it doesn't even occur to me. So I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> You know, I have yeah, no me neither. I keep doing it. I, I sing every week. I go on stage and scream and yell, and I, I, and I can do outdo any yeah. of the kids. I mean, I'm louder and more obnoxious than any of them. Um, I, I've, I've I, been for the punk days, yeah. you know. <laughs> so it it's kind of meaningless, and I won't give into it. And you know, fuck them all. You know, it just doesn't matter. Um, I I have other interests, you know, and that's like a whole. I mean, there's, co- there's a cosmetic industry based on how I think I am, you know. <laughs> I won't get into them. Uh, well, I've never worn makeup. I don't believe it. I'm pretty much here I well, am. Well, I don't know. You know, you know I, I just don't know. You know, if it makes you happy, cool. That's all. Yeah. 
uh, you know. Yeah, well, uh, that uh, I, I I've not figured out. As far as the species goes, I don't I don't understand that. What's well, not a nova, you know, <laughs> pa, pa, and history, and it just doesn't make any sense. It you know just doesn't make any sense. My, my Did analogy, you ever get into okay. music? Did you ever play any music or sing, or, well, or is it always been acting? No, I, I'm learning to play the guitar. Learning to play the guitar. Uh, cool. I haven't learned, but yeah. So that's kind of yeah. That is really cool because that was beyond my comprehension. You know, that was like magic. How the hell are you doing that? How do you? But no, it's uh, you know, it's kind of cool. You know. Uh, just, well, when uh, I first started playing way. guitar back in when I first started playing guitar back in 1966, you know that black guy you had there that was one of the actors. I forget his name. Do you, there was only oh, one, I think. Uh, Mel, Mel, uh, Mel Stewart. Yeah, yeah, Mel, Mel. Anyway, I asked Mel. I said, "How do you perform? How do you sing? I, you know, what you go on stage? I knew like three chords, you know." I said, "What do you do?" And I says, "Tell me how how you perform." And he says, "Well, just live it. Don't don't <laughs> pretend. You've got to live what you're saying in the words in the song." And that's what I've done ever since. You know, I I yeah, I am that, whatever I am singing. Right, but that for me that I'm not quite there yet. But I totally understand where I have to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> you just have to relax and go with it. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm getting there, you know, I, I take myself and stuff, like, but it's a, it's a good for me. It's a diversion because that's the other thing, you know, sound, the, the thing I like about making funny movies is yeah, mu- uh, music has a lot to do with it, you know, the soundtrack. So it, it's really pulled me into that world of really listening, which is, you know, something I never really did never paid attention to it. Um, I was more into words than music. And now all of a sudden, no, music has a whole other level, you know, as far as I, as far, as far as I know, so far. Well, I'm That's a songwriter, and my thing is is words. Words, words, words. I mean, I can put E, A, B, 7, anything. And, you know, that's, that's a song what? for me. I mean, it's just da-da-da-da. Well, it's punk, you know, I'm... I, I played punk clubs for many years, so so my idea of music is is kick him in the face and keep kicking him. <laughs> yeah, man, I think that's <laughs> I I'm, I've yet to get there, but but I see where you're going. Yeah, uh, uh, right. Um, I just saw that um, uh, last night. I saw uh, what the uh, documentary on Kurt Cobain on. Uh-huh. Uh, Something heck, what the heck or something. I don't know, it was on, on TV. Yeah, like him. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, was he great, was. he was great. Oh, wow. A little sound effects. We here. got a bomb going off there. Uh, Yeah, something. Something red went, just went by. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so all day long, all day long. It's Sunday, I think. How close to the beach are you? Well, about three blocks, I guess. Yeah, but oh, I'm right on the oh, main oh. street, you know. Oh, so, that's that's like crazy land there on the beach in Venice. <laughs> oh, yeah, certain hours you can't, you know, I can't go out of the house or I can't get back to the house. So that That's true, you know, the closer you get to summer. Uh, but I, I grew up in Far Rockaway, so I'm, I'm used to it. That's the kind of, you know, I was just on the East Coast. But, yeah, this is what I grew up with. You know, and oh, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I love circuses. <laughs> I always wanted to run off with circuses. I think I did, but in a, an abstract way. Well, you 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 guys are up in Berkeley, right? I mean, that's where you come I'm from. I'm in Berkeley. I, I mean, live with my daughter. I've got a I've got a daughter that's oh, she just turned thirty eight, and she's married. And her and her two kids that are eight and five live upstairs, and I live downstairs. And we live up in the hills in Berkeley. And I play oh, right. at the yeah. Missouri Lounge in Berkeley every Wednesday night. Cool, yeah, because it's really, uh, I just came back from Seattle, and it's green up there in, in Berkeley. And oh, it's I, very I green. I, I live in green. the hills. It's actually built, the house yeah. is actually built in the hill, 
So I'm surrounded by all these trees, redwood trees. It's beautiful up here. Right, yeah. And I, I didn't realize how thirsty And there's air here, which the there isn't in L.A. I was in L.A. for 12 years. There was no such thing as air right. there. Yeah. Oh, but you're at the beach. You're at the beach, so the beach gets air. Yeah, that's even less green, you know. It's, it's you know, blue sky and, you know, sandy beach. <laughs> you that's got sand. Cool. You know, don't knock it. But... Uh, I didn't realize it. Until okay, I... okay, we're out of time, uh, Larry. It was great oh, well, talking yeah. to you. Yeah, same thing. And we'll look for your 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 stuff on, on YouTube or or wherever yeah, it's at. Oh, uh, Larry Hankin. The Emmett Demas. The cool. Outlaw Emmett. Yeah, the Outlaw Emmett Demas or Emmett Demas. Yeah, or Emmett the, Demas. actually the next thing is the uh, the homeless detective. That's the next. Okay. Thing. Starring him. And me. Okay, well, it was great talking to you, Larry. Thank you, Girl George. Okay, this is Girl George and the Dragons Radio Show saying, see you later, alligator.